The owner's tears said it all. This black dog was suffering from one of the worst combined infections I've ever seen. As always, a content warning is in effect. The footage you are about to see is graphic and upsetting, but it's a powerful educational case study. Let's begin. Okay, let's start the analysis. This is our patient, a black dog, tied up and clearly in distress. We can immediately see a severe infestation of engorged ticks, especially on the face and ears. These are the most dangerous areas, as they're close to the eyes and ear canals. Von Ban Mac Jin. This right here is step one, safety. The team is applying a muzzle. This is a crucial and professional step. The dog is terrified and in immense pain. It could easily bite out of fear. This protects both the dog and the rescue team, allowing them to work safely. Excellent. And this, this is the heartbreaking reality. We see the owner completely overwhelmed with emotion. This is what we mean when we say parasites affect the entire family. You can feel her helplessness. This is why our work is so important, not just for the pet, but for the people who love them. Now we're seeing the full extent of the problem. This is one of the most severe ear infestations I have ever seen. The entire ear canal is blocked. This isn't just a few ticks. This is a nest of hundreds in all life stages. This dog is suffering from critical anemia, guaranteed. This is a life-threatening emergency. Let's analyze the removal technique. They are using forceps to go deep into the ear. The patience here is incredible. They are correctly grasping each tick at the base, right near the skin, and pulling steadily. This is a painstaking, multi-hour process. Every tick they pull out is one less parasite draining this dog's lifeblood. Look at this. This is the result of their work so far. A bowl filled with hundreds of engorged ticks. This is a visual representation of just how much blood this animal was losing every single day. Absolutely shocking, and a miracle it's still alive. Okay, now the treatment pivots. They've moved from the ticks in the ears to the body, and they've switched tools. This is a fine-toothed metal comb. This tells me this dog had a combined infestation, ticks, and a massive flea problem. The comb is the only tool for this job. Look at that. Kiluk Jok Jio Lin. It's catching thousands of fleas and flea dirt. This is an incredibly effective technique for debulking a heavy infestation. This is just as dangerous as the ticks. Von Ban Mac Jin. After the physical removal, they're applying a topical spray or liquid. This is likely a broad spectrum parasiticide to kill any remaining fleas and ticks, and also an antiseptic to clean the thousands of open bite wounds. This step is critical to prevent a massive systemic skin infection. And now, the final cleaning step, the medicated bath. This will wash off the dead parasites, the medication, and all the flea dirt. Look at the color of that water, it's dark red, that's all the digested blood from the fleas. This bath not only cleans the dog, but also soothes its severely inflamed skin. And here, the after. This is the reward. The owner is reunited with her clean, safe dog. The dog is alert, the parasites are gone. You can see the relief in both the owner's and the dog's eyes. This is a 10-10 rescue a perfect example of a thorough, professional, and compassionate treatment plan. It looks like they've added a bonus case here, a cat. This is a great comparison. It's not just dogs. This cat has a massive engorged tick. They're back to using the tweezer method. Look at that perfect technique. Grasp at the base, pull straight out, no twisting. This is how you do it at home if you find a single tick a great educational clip.
This was an incredible 15-minute journey. We saw a dog on the brink of death from a combined infestation and the multi-step professional process it took to save it. The key lesson for everyone watching? Prevention. A simple monthly chewable or topical from your vet can stop this. It's that easy. Please protect your pets. Thanks for watching.